Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Vanilla TV tonight with Arx and Beta bringing you another Premiership Season 15 matchup between Skidmark Central and Last Man Standing tonight. Uh, we are waiting for the guys to still join the server. Arx, are you with us? Indeed, I'm always with you. <gasps> but you're not, because, well, you're a military game that I'm in Burma. True. We have, same, same country. We have an astonishing 26 viewers. That's a new record. Probably a new record, yeah. Numlocked has 168 viewers. Yeah, but he's been streaming all, all afternoon. All night. American pugs. But, uh, good news is we have more than Bite. He has two viewers. Well, there we go. <laughs> that, that just puts it all into perspective, doesn't it? It does. It does. <laughs> right, so let's talk about the teams as um, Eri gives me the special secret stats. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. And also, we have the team comms tonight as well, so all I have to do is unmute Eri. Here he is. We can see what they're saying now. Hold on. Uh, show me. I need to test something. <laughs> exactly. We need to test yep. something. I'm muted again. <laughs> <laughs> it's good timing, but yep. So, um, okay, so let's talk about teams and Ox. Uh, should we start with Skidmark Central, or should we talk about something else? Should we talk about I-49? Um, we well, actually, we can always save that for half time. Yeah, let's that's talk what I was, about. I was thinking. Uh, yeah, and then let's talk well, about uh, the teams gone. Um, how are they doing in the season? You're always the man with the, the man season who can alt tab quicker than Arx. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> okay, so Skidmark Central then. Now let's start with Last Man Standing. Our Russian comrades uh, played eight, lost eight. No points on the board so far. It's been a very tough lesson learned in their first season in. Um, Premiership. Obviously, some couple of the guys probably have played there before, but it does have some well-known names. So we've got Cyclus there. We've got our good old friend uh, Ali, also Reco there. War is there as well. Um, he's joined recently. But yeah, yet to get a point on the board, and I guess this is a great opportunity for the Marks against Skidmark Central. Again, another, uh, I'd say, average performance in the Premiership. Um, Skidmark Central played 10, 1, 2, lost 8, and those two maps being picked up against none other than um, 94 Esports, who are now, they were Vinland, weren't they? Now they're, yeah, Vinland, yeah. whatever they renamed to. And the other map being picked up against another change team of Alias, who of course was, was, as he tries to remember without looking, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> oh, I don't Can't it's help you Solar, that isn't it? Weren't they Solar? Ah, oh, it could be, yeah. I'm trying to remember. I think, it, yeah, I think it was Solar. Everyone keeps changing their names every two minutes in the Premiership right now. So yeah, <laughs> I think it was Solar. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, only two maps on the board, and I'm just going to flick through their stats. I'm going to cheat now. I'm going to see if they've actually played either of these maps before, um, and see what Skidmark picked up. They did actually pick up points against Solar on Granary. So tonight is going to be a week 4 matchup by the way so this is not the current week these guys are lagging behind it's going to be granary and process and I think with process to go fast Arx run us through uh, the lineups I guess because they are all on the server now my friend indeed that was quick you can tell this isn't a top premiership game uh, the teams actually get on the server quite quickly right so for uh, LMS last man standing we are going to be having uh, Rico on Scout, Mighty Me on Demo Man, Sheepy as Scout, Warhair yeah, Soldier, Forsaken Soldier, and White Glow as the Medic. And for um, uh, Skidmark Central, we are going to be having Greg on Scout. We're going to be having Killer for Fun as his Scout Partner, Dalith as the Pocket Soldier, Flisco Roaming Soldier, Cadus as Demo Man, and Skeej as Medic. There we go, I made it. <laughs> As the guys decide to alias as well, uh, that would make it nice and interesting yeah. for us. We, wow. I expect, by the way, if you're just watching, I imagine White Glow will be switching to Medic in a moment, so don't know and get concerned. So it's going to be Process followed by Granary. Uh, this is a week four matchup. Uh, also, on tonight, of course, we have Broda versus. Um, oh, I forgot it again because we're not casting it, I stopped paying attention. Broda versus revolutionized the meta game, my French friends. That's why I knew the Frenchies. Revolution. But yeah, revolution the meta game. So those are over at Team Fortress TV tonight. Also, we have uh, Blackout Gaming do a Division 1 lineup. Uh, are, they doing, as well. are they doing the Division 1 game? Yes, they are, which should also be a very good game. Yeah, I um, must say. To be honest, I, th I think in order of kind of the profile of 
how close these games are going to be. That Division 1 game is probably going to be the closest, with this one being the second closest, and the one over at Team Fortress TV being the uh, the role, basically. Not to yeah. discredit the, car, car, uh, the cast of theirs, of course, because it's just that, well, you're, you've got Broda against the Frenchies. I think Broda might walk that one. Well, we'll find out very soon enough. Yeah, we could be completely wrong. It yeah. is, this is Team Fortress 2, so... Yeah. So, um, what were we going to speak We were going to speak about I-49, weren't we? We were? I thought that was half yeah. time. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, they, they're talking about nicknames um, just just before they start. So, I-49 then, obviously everyone's been keeping track up for the great updates from Mike Tapley. I've forgotten your surname, mate. So, I'm just going to... Uh, just call you Mike Tapley, forgotten surname from now on. Uh, 390 players signed up for Team Fortress 2 now. 390. Wow, that, that is amazing. <laughs> yeah, so that's probably our biggest event yet. Um, I think the whole event has over 2,700, I think I saw. 2,764 is what I'm reading. And 349 places left. But of those 300 and 390 players are for TF2. That excludes probably any of the coverage staff, so it probably includes any of the Villain TV staff like ourselves and Animal and so on. And also anyone else that might be working in the background. So uh, pretty good turnout and if you haven't got a ticket yet, you should probably hurry up and get one before they all go. That's what I'm going to say. I even saw a post, and I'm not even sure if it was a troll post, by some of our Israel friends trying to get money to get flights over. Yeah, I think, to be honest, they've, they've got interesting going. I mean, we've got um, Australian teams trying to go. There's uh, the Crackland lineup. We're doing some funding things. So, um, I mean, not all of their players are in uh, Western Europe, let's say. Uh, a lot of teams just doing their own little fundraisers just to see if they can get a bit of money, see if they can attend this event. And I mean, by all means, help. Assuming it's legitimate, obviously, don't just throw them money if they're going to... Uh, scam it or anything, but helping people out to get to the land, that's what our community is all about. Are we live? No, we are not live. I thought we were live for a second. Um, yeah, and pretty much that's that's the thing. What we need is just more support and more people wanting to come. The bigger that we make the game, the bigger the support we'll get. And comments to the Source TV, Vino TV is dead, lies. If an interview is dead, I would not be speaking <laughs> to you right now. And exactly. oh wait, who got the I forty nine spot? Oh no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> so yeah, uh, so yeah. I am a ghost, Scrimpy. I'm always a ghost, mate. I'm the biggest ghost at LAN. I told you, if Way Andy Way doesn't come and Doctor Justice doesn't come, I'm going to be the biggest guy at LAN again. <laughs> Honestly, I, don't know. I've, I have been swimming twice yeah, a day, I've been every yeah. day. I'm pretty hench right now. <laughs> well, if Way comes, I'm in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> and if justice comes, I'm in trouble. Hold on a minute. Just hold those thoughts about who's got more muscles. We are live. live. We are live. So this is Vanilla TV bringing you Season 15 East Coast World Premiership sponsored by Blackout Gaming. This is Skidmark Central versus Last Man Standing. Arx and Beta with you. Animal on the camera. Arx, run us through this first middle one process. Right, well, Demo Man have come to middle sick this, replacing Mighty Me as he's got some internet problems on Demo Man. And, well, he takes some big hits. Medic's absorbing. Oh. Sorry, he's absorbing a lot of the medic's attention. A soldier does jump in, and that's uh, Blisco manages to take down uh, White Glow, the medic. Um, it looks like Skeech has survived, Cadus and Blisco being the only casualties for them. It's still a four on three at the moment. Scout's going to have to fall back, though. They haven't got that. A sickness oh, comes demo. in behind. He's, he managed to kill the scout that was being left behind to cap mid. And actually, Scout's now over onto the medic. I don't think he's going to be able to get him, but oh, wow, Skeech so, so weak. I'm just wondering if uh, Sickless had have stayed around that sort of... Uh, uh, PC area, IT area, then he might have just been able to get that final sticky over onto the medic, but nope, that hasn't been the case, and Ski just got his Uber. Yeah, interesting. Sickless, almost like a delayed coming in through uh, PC there. Almost worked, took down one of the scouts. Soldier came in uh, to say hello, did massive damage, did allow the other scout of Reco to come through onto the medic, but it didn't work from his Ski now. 100% Uber with War running that sniper. Gets a nice shot onto Greg. Uh, they would have been called now. Nice heading onto in. the soldier on the left side as well. Has have they used that Uber? No, no they no. haven't. Sorry, no, they haven't. I thought he had popped it. That would have been a good result there. Two players down. They're going to have to wait arcs. As we see, Reco just slightly overextends there as well. Yeah, here's the thing. That Uber advantage is just going to be non-existent very, very they've shortly. Done enough, White though, yeah, they've done yeah, they've just just getting that pick over onto the scout and soldier. That's bought enough time. Um, I, I think that Skeege and um, 
the rest of the team there are going to know that the their Uber advantage is gone, but they did manage to cap middle, so it's not all lost, obviously, at the start of that round. They have still got an advantage, it's just a positional advantage rather than a, an Uber one. So great defense there from LMS. Um, bit of a demo on demo action here as uh, Skeet's just having a little duel up against Cadus. Cadus having full health still. Um, uh, and wow, Warhol, War yeah, gets a shot over onto a scout of Killer for Fun. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to prompt a push. Maybe they're just going to try for one more. Cadus being a bit cheeky there. Strafing in. A soldier goes round to get him. Ubers have been popped for both teams. Um, Cadus and Skeej there holding ground as uh, Cyclist does get juggled up in the air. Soldier jumping round aggressive over onto one of the soldiers goes flying into the air. He manages to survive for now and a lot of pressure coming in from uh, Cadus with his medic. Another soldier's jumping in. Scout's also coming from the flank. They might find themselves trapped here over in the corner. Wow, Cadus gets two with one pipe. Cyclist and White Glow go down. Only Sheepy remaining as Greg comes in, takes down Forsaken. And wow, they're going to get this fourth point. Yeah, Cadus come with a massive pipe just in that left hand corner there. White Glow did the right job trying to come in and heal his medic who went, uh, soldier who went flying. But it hasn't worked for him. That's basically a, a full wipe. War coming in with a nice shot onto that scout. But soldier's going to come around onto the point. Uncontested at the moment. Somebody needs to go and block. Scout comes there as well. Forsaken comes jumping in. Does enough to flick though. And Greg goes down as well by War. And they might hold onto this. Cadus so weak. Gets taken down. It's only Daily left. What an amazing hold by last man standing. Literally, Forsaken was the last man standing and he did enough. That's it now, Rico over onto this second point, just trying to get that back. I don't think anyone's in a position to back cap. Uh, Dalla did have to fall back um, over to middle and scout of Greg. He's the one who'd normally be making those kind of back, back, uh, back cap plays. And um, <laughs> back he did flap. get taken back flap. Cap Cat flap. flap. <laughs> <laughs> right, so anyway, so I just jumped in over onto the Medic Blisco. Very, very weak there. Does want to take down White Glow. Medic's down. Our LMS still going to push this. They've got reasonably good health on most of their players. Uh, Warha, yeah, did manage to get the uh, health pack, but no, it's a bit too late for that as another two players fall, both of their soldiers. They're going to be losing this fourth point yet again. Um, and, well, Ski just got a 66% Uber at the moment, so they're going to be pushing in quite quickly. Cyclist does manage to take down Greg, but it's a scout. Is it going to be enough? We'll have to see. I thought that was going to be a potential bomb then. Demo is sitting right up close. Two scouts there as well. Uh, but, no, it didn't happen. I... I I'm surprised they haven't come out to contest here because they must know Skeej has it and well if they'd gone out maybe as a solid unit they may have had a chance now they're going to walk into last with this Uber. Uber has been popped so early as well because they have that additional time. Um, Demo go Cyclist tries to go back right. A couple of players do escape. He's going to White Glow but there's a scout on point, two scouts on point and it's not going to be enough so there we go. 1-0 the score, 25 minutes remaining. And let's uh, have a look at those uh, damage uh, stats, my friend, uh, as he decides to go back to the page he closed. And yet, uh, it was actually Sickless top damage, 1,861 Cadus, close to behind. So let's do round two, following Cadus on that big man pack on the left. So yes, a nice point onto the soldier who goes all the way back. Warher, yeah, it's going to need loads of attention from the medic. In fact, goes back to sewers for the yeah, big sensible. med pack. And uh, it uh, has allowed the rest of his team to rotate round on that left-hand side. Interesting positions. Finally, we get some action, and it's War. <laughs> yeah, he just almost suicides onto the point. Daily from Greg all week at the moment. This is a good play by the LMS. They're getting the positioning, staying as a solid unit back in that left-hand corner, taking it in turns to go back to the medic. And well, Skidmark gonna have to fall out here. Arcs, two players, only Cadus and Skeej. I don't think they're gonna come back in. No, that's it. They they have got their Uber charge, but it's just gonna be two of them. Dalith is spawning. There's enough times. Um, sorry, capture time going off on that midpoint now. Uh, one scout just capping that. The question is, are they going to go out with their three players, two more spawning to try and block this fourth? It's crits, I'm, a bit, I'm a bit concerned crits. that LMS are crits pushed are in, in. in advance. In comes the crits now. Takes down one soldier over on the point. Uber's been popped on that fourth point, which is blocking the capture. And we're going to find that LMS only have three players alive. They're pretty much trapped in behind them at the moment. And this could be catastrophic for them. Two scouts coming. The rest of the team is going to uh -oh. completely dominate them from both sides. And Warha, yeah, the only player... A live jumped in to try and go for the medic, but he goes flying. Great <laughs> oh! air shot from pretty much everyone. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to give Dalith the credit. I think everyone hit him in the air just then. As uh, now, it looks like Skidmark Central are going to be onto this midpoint, trying to take it back. Forward spawns are going to come in for at least two of the players. Maybe even Warha, yeah. No, he's not going to get it. But, um, yeah, it looks like uh, Skidmark Central are going to be on mid again. Yeah, White Glow's gone back to regular Uber charge at the moment, as we see uh, the... Skid Martin thinking about coming through PC but just going to build up the Uber. War just again running that sniper, probably sitting on that balcony area as you expect. Yes, he is. Um, just trying to see. Looks like they want to try and come in sewers here. Could be a good potential chance trying to 
negate the, any potential advantage the sniper has, but he has been called there. Um, they're coming right hand side. Daylift goes high and wide, and Uber has been popped, so. L um, LMS want to just fall back here, and yes, they do. White Glow, 90% still building, but Demo and Reco's going to get caught here. Don't want... Don't, sorry, the Cyclist and Reco are going to get caught here, and they... Reco's the only one, and White Glow's gets taken down by Cadis. He was so close. He was on about 97%, and this is surely oh. going to be another round on the board for uh, Skidmark, and yes, it is. 2-0 the score. So little... Well, so little left of that Uber charge to get there. We could have been looking at a definite change of events, and Cadis... 996 damage, Daylift 882. Um, so both of this uh, Skidmark team there. Let's follow uh, Cadis's rollout to this third point. Again, going for that med pack on the left hand side arcs and actually denies Cyclist. And he's so weak. Look at that health. He's going to need loads of attention on that medic. Could this be a potential start of the good mid fight for their uh, Skidmark team arcs? Yeah, Flisco jumping in. Didn't manage to connect with the medic this time, but they have pressured the players back for the time being. It's looking like. Um Skidmark Central are on good health here, whereas LMS, they're going to have to fall out here. They've only got three of their players alive. I think Rico's going to get trapped off. Soldier jumping in over, trying to chase the medic down. Uh, Pocket Soldier has left him, trying to go for the medic. It looks like we're only going to have White Glow alive. He's on 91%. Um, he is going to get his Uber as Warhaya is just spawning now. Scout did go in to try and chase him. In fact, Demo Man, their whole team has already pushed in. Um, that might... Give them an opportunity to try and push out and block this. They do have Uber. I don't think they're going to be going for it, but they had that opportunity. Cadus, I think, just read then that uh, the Medic wouldn't have that Uber, and that's why he pushed in very, very quickly there. But the way Uber is popped for both teams. Cadus sticking them off here. They are, they are pushing out to this fourth point. Got to be a bit worried about a back cap. Cadus has rotated rounds. No soldier caught him off guard. And... Um, well, now they've just got to worry about Greg going in for yeah, us. I did Greg. see him around yeah. the lobby. Area Act. In fact, most of the team has fallen back, but they've left the scout recapturing that second point. Um, just going to fly out there and have a look to see if he is going to be taking it. It does look like they are, so great play from them. I, I kind of want to call it a bit lucky, though. Uh, I, I think that was a bit of a case of uh, Skidmark overextending a little bit, just on that right hand side, they separate quite a lot. Um, and look where they are now, on that mid fight, LMS coming in here, won't have much contestion uh, from anyone. Cadis is not there of course yet, um, already sticking up that far balcony, his balcony on that second point. So that's a good turnaround by LMS and uh, let's see if they can carry that momentum through, going through that sewer. Um, again, just wary of any potential sniper threat there. Only sniper on the team would, of course, probably be a Greg. Or um, I think I've seen uh, a couple of one of the other guys snipe before as well. But Uber has been forced. Uber's been forced by um, I think that was Flisco who went in and got it. That's uh, that was great play there because now they're just going to come out. Um, a good thing that LMS could do here is just go all out aggressive. They haven't got that Uber here. They could if they sit back here. They're going to welcome. Um, Skidmark to push on to them and they are going to try and go and get the medic, doesn't work Forsaken Suicide trying to get their medic and this is why you're going to see LMS standing all the way far back corner They need to send someone into bomb though, Arcs And there's a backup, oh, back there's a backup! That's oh what I was looking for <laughs> <laughs> No wonder they were happy to walk back uh, Reco just coming into that far right hand side, must have come through the lower right, uh, right hand side lobby and yet, yeah, 2 1 the score arcs. 20 minutes left. This is all to play for. Let's follow uh, someone else's rollout to mid this time. Let's follow Sickness. Yeah, Reco also coming out in the damage Again, stats on that round. Pack. Coming out first. So, yeah, he was, do he was doing some work. So, we are on to this round four now. Look at see if anything's changed. It looks like LMS staying a bit more bunched up. One scout's pushing over aggressive though. Soldier of Flisco jumping over to try and get the medic. Misses one of his rocket jumps. So he didn't manage to take him down. But there's a lot of damage gone out onto the LMS team. But crucially, they're keeping their players alive. At least for the time being. Scouts are coming in now. One of the scouts of Reco is isolated. Killer for fun taking him down for his second of the fight. One soldier now going aggressive. He jumps up and another air shot from Dalith. Um, well, crushing them. White Glow has managed to get out. Maintaining 71% uh, of his Uber while Skeej has got his, but Killer for Fun out on that fourth point already. Yeah, as Kalis rejoins his team on that second point, nice ramp slide from that mid area there as well. Uh, Uber ready to rock and roll with Skeej, and White Glow just about got his now, so um, they will know that, of course. And the LMS team opting to defend fairly fair, uh, far forward, in fact. You sometimes see teams opt to sit back right. Greg's caught, so one of the scouts. Some sickness probably just came to try to charge him on that lower lobby as he come in, got caught. Will they wait for him? Not certain, but it's going to be a little bit of stalemate here. 
as we see, it looks like LMS want to try and push out these two scouts. Maybe they want to try and do a, uh, a force with a scout and a soldier with war coming in to bomb. And looking like it does. Oh, he doesn't make the jump. Actually comes in behind and up around and above again. But he's so weak from those two jumps and it's not going to work. And this could actually see Skidmark want to push in arcs. Yeah, that was it. There was a couple of stickies just on that exit, which uh, kind of messed up his rocket jump as he was trying to jump over. Um, onto the medic and it took his health down. He wasn't going to do anything from there, but he is up again in four seconds. He was forced. Uh, sniper from Greg was pot shutting about, but uh, in comes the Uber as well from Skidmark Central here. They're all dancing around really close to each other at the moment. One soldier's, in fact, both of the soldiers going airborne medic on his own for the moment. Greg with a nice shot over onto Rico, but his medic of Skid is getting juggled around. Does get taken down. It looks like LMS are going to hold this at least temporarily. Killer for fun and Cadus. Killer for fun now over onto the point. Nobody's seen him. He's jumping around near to the demo medic. Somebody needs to take him out. He is still floating around. He's going actually for pistols on the medic and finally sickness does take him down. That has bought a lot of time for them. Um, but, well, they are... Uh, I don't know if they're going to actually be able to get this point back. Greg's running sniper still onto White Glow from the sewer area. White Glow peaks again. He's going to be in trouble. It's, I think oh. he's been called now and soldiers onto him nicely done. So forces Greg all the way back out. And that was actually a, a partial white for uh, Skidmark there. Four players went down on the initial push, and then a further uh, two went down again. So, uh, yeah, so this is why they find themselves back on mid fight now. Uh, again, one of the soldiers of LMS coming in, wall her, just not enough support there. Reco's in a little bit of trouble in that PC area as well. Um, and he has Sheepy's allowed one of the scouts to go all the way through, and it was a killer for fun. Sheepy finally takes care of them. That was a good call, Arx. He was coming to help. Got to cap out on the midpoint. Um, yeah, I'm pretty fairly easy. Let's follow Greg. Greg going for a shot on mid as well. Um, just following him as we see Skidmark now coming into the point arcs. Probably going to take it back with these with that with that Uber there as well. Yeah, the question is, is that are they actually going to get this uh, anything to pop it? Waha, yeah, has gone sniper to try and counter Greg, who's still on sniper from that last push. Um, he has got a considerable overheal, whereas uh, Greg currently has, well, nothing, no health at all. Little uh, body shot could almost kill him. Um, but let's have a look if anyone's going to be able to make some sort of play here. It looks like going through PC, Cadus, Skeet and Dalith making their way through. They have been called already. That's uh, going to neutralize Warhaya's sniping efforts um, as the Uber is popped. popped. Yeah, Cadus just sticking off that left door. Want to make sure they cap that four point. But counter Uber from White Glow and his Merry Men coming through. Warhaya does come up with a nice shot on Greg. So that is the sniper down. He was sitting in that sewer area. And they could potentially chase them all the way here. Um, Akadis finally rejoins. Blisco, the roaming soldier, gets taken down behind as well. And could they go all the way? Nice heading onto this um, demo, I believe it was. It was the demo. So Akadis falls back to rejoin with Skeege. And Dale is so weak. Forsaken and Waiko, um Well, Forsaken finish him off. And Sickless Craters in the middle. Um, caught by Akadis as he just came into the point. They are going to manage to hold on to this point. Oh, I don't want to give down. commentators curse. White goes caught by Killer for Fun. Killer for Fun taking Forsaken as well. And it is all for fun for the moment. And they really cleaned up their midpoint arcs. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Uh, they have two scouts on that point. It looked like Sheepy was thinking about coming out. But well, as soon as he saw the two scouts, let alone the bonus soldier, um, that just simply wasn't an option for him. Flisco was just floating around the lobby there. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't think he'll be able to do anything. Let's hear those comms as they push into the point. Five then. seconds advantage. <coughs> yeah. Um, keep calling up the percent skeech. Positions thirty percent, thirty-five. On seventy-five, find the medic. Okay. Uh, Flisco or a scout, find him. Not yet. So me to jump in. Sixty percent. Something like that. Yeah. Skeech's here. We're gonna go top left probably. Where's the medic? Where's the medic? Sniper. Okay, sniper medic. Eighty percent. I'm not. Flisco, 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 go now. Flisco, go now. Yeah. Wherever you want. It's great, right, by the way. It's it's great. Here they come. The right side. Slap is three. Right bow. Told you we were dead. They're far right in the targets here. Have a good point. Good point, guys. Point. I'm tagged on point. Down. Do it. Do it. Nice. Oh nice. Going back to Uber. Yeah. Guys, Ooh. we need to focus point far more. So there we have it. Uh, Good comms, Great. good push in with Cadis uh, using those crit sarks. Three won the score, and yeah, another round on the board. Thirteen minutes remaining. It was very well calculated comms from Cadis there. I'm actually really impressed with the clarity of uh, their communication. Uh, oh, that sticky just absolutely destroyed you as he went yeah. into the point. Yeah, <laughs> great first sticky from Cadis there. Well calculated sticky, I guess as well.
Kadus the mathematician of this game, but uh, in jumps the Soldier of Warha. Yeah, he's going to get shut down. Um, from us, well, Greg getting the fun and Kyla for fun. Also, uh, dealing here. damage onto Ray. Rico, it yeah, LMS having to fall back here. White Glow and Forsaken being the Soldier and Medic alive. They have managed to tag up with Sheepy, but Demoman is looking to chase them at least a little bit. Um, maybe if they can get to them before the Uber is built, they're not going to be able to do that. They do have Uber, but Sheepy does go down in the process, which leaves them only with two. Uber is popped. They're going to get a counter Uber from um, Cadus there, and well, I'm wondering if they're going to be able to get out. Not really certain what happened on that mid fight there. Well, we do. We know loads of players got weakened as they walked in, and Cadus has been so good at sticking off the the med pack before Cyclist can get there almost every round. And whenever he's done that, they, they just had such a bad mid fight, and we saw they just couldn't get out of that corner. They were stuck there, and they've chased them all the way back to balcony. Um, They've managed to hold on to it. I give them that. They have managed to hold on. I was slightly concerned it was going to be a roll round just from that mid-fight. But they've done enough. Just going to see if anyone's decided to do anything different. Uh, Flisco went aggressive, but he gets taken down. But Greg finishes off in a revenge-style kill. Wars taken down as well. Sheepy's going to get taken down as well. Shorty in those sewers. is actually one-on-one -on -one with Greg, who's gone all the way back to midpoint. But Greg does have that overheal. Sheepy takes care of him. It's going to be Sheepy versus Killer for Fun, who goes back for the med pack and... Killer for Fun says no, thank you. Arcs, you carry on watching that Uber um, on that mid, uh, that second point. Finally, she be taken care of, and only White Glow sitting on his own, rejoined by Sickness back right corner. Indeed, Cadus getting stickies on that door. One scout has come out, but he's got completely isolated. That was uh, Rico there. Um, the rest of the team were thinking about coming out, but they've decided against it, which I think is a sensible choice here. Warha is yes, looking to make some sort of sneaky play, but I think he's on the wrong side at the moment. Neither team has their Uber charge. So um, I'm not sure if we're going to see a push here. Warha, yeah, gets Dalit down. That's one of the soldiers. Uh, actually, the soldier is performing the better of the two on that team. And, well, with both soldiers out, that's going to prompt a push for sure. They've seen both of the scouts going out. Choke, one of them gets uh, hit by a last-ditch rocket coming from Choke. So three players down. It looks like LMS are going to be taking back their fourth and, well, their second, shall I say. And they're going to be pushing to mid. Yeah, they're just going to be waiting for that Uber arcs. Uh, BC, I want to see if Greg goes sniper here. Would he stay a scout? Yes, he does. And Uber is popped actually, so White Guy does have to use his Uber to give him a slight advantage, but it's not really going to make any difference here. Um, I'm just thinking Fort Six is going to get caught, but Cadence manages to oh. connect with War as he came on down, and White Guy gets taken care of by Daily Food just. Almost walked through the gate uncontested. Look at this flank though. Three players down, only Sheepy and Sickless left. Um, they've come round behind him through PC, I guess the scout killer for funded. And again, only Sickless left on the sewers on his own. That's basically a wipe there for LMS. It pretty much is. Uh, I, I think the players are going to get out here to manage to take this back. Soldier did leave the point. Scout's going to have to run back of uh, Kyle for fun there. He's going to be falling into the sewers just to get that health pack. And one of the soldiers, he's falling into IT to get that health pack. So, um, Kadis actually sticking off that route. So, we might see a uh, sticky kill if a scout tries to push out that way. Uber's around even um, at the moment. There is 9 minutes 50 seconds left on the clock. So, uh, LMS do need to make a play at some point, which is probably why they're just grouping towards this choke. They've realized the time is against them. They want one more round, so at least they can uh, relax for the, the fast last few minutes and take things slow. Yeah, so the 10 minute warning has gone. If you have just joined us, this is Villa TV with Arx and Beta tonight bringing you the words an animal on the camera. This is Last Man Standing versus Skidmark Central Season 15 e 2 f 2 l Premiership Division, of course. And we are now watching the LMS team try and come through that choke. Both of them triggered at the same time. Just misses the Eshon Daylift. Um, I believe that was Forsaken. But uh, Warha, yeah, gets caught in those sewer areas. Sheepy trying to come in and help him out. But Fisco and Daylift go straight down. Three players down in quick succession for both teams. So we're left with a three on three. But it's a no medic up for the Skidmark team. Dead. But Skidlix is so much trouble here. Sheepy comes in to help out, taking down Cadus. Greg is so weak. Sheepy needs one more shot on him. And he does. And in fact, Sheepy's dominating. It's going to be Sheepy versus Killer for Fun as well. Killer for Fun's so weak versus a very weak Sheepy. And wow. Finally, <laughs> she'd be taken care of and Killer Fun takes care of Sickless as well. Yeah, that's it. He um he just managed to get a nice little meat shot over on Sickless, but then reverse scouts, those pesky scouts, very hard to hit with stickies. Um I'd say that well scouts are the counter to a demo man, but you'd have still have expected him to have managed just to land one of them on him. As he was very weak. Steve as Flisco jumps, by the way. jumps aggressively in to try and take care of Forsaken Cadus also trying to go for a sticky shot. 
Um, and in fact, one of the soldiers has jumped in to try and finish him off because he is still kind of weak. Um, it looks like Skidmark Central pushing in quite aggressively here, but they have lost three players, and the LMS is turned for the aggression now. Cadus does manage to take down Forsaken. Warhai is overextended as well. He's going to get eaten by a scout, but in the meantime, oh, I was going to say Greg nearly cratered. Sheepy just coming out onto Greg and Skeech still in trouble, falling back. Sheepy does take care of them with a nice little cheeky overheal as well as he went after him. So White Glow getting the assist, the cheeky little devil. And uh, yeah, 3-1 the score, seven and a half minutes remaining. And <laughs> Sheepy is <laughs> saying, uh, yeah, Prem W complete, he got a kill. But uh, yeah, so LMS on the ascendancy in this fifth round, taking this point, White Glow 80% Uber. Will we see another point on the board for LMS coming up and making this be a very tense last five minutes for um, Skidmark? We will find out. Greg running sniper on that left hand side. Killer for fun running heavy as well. So four oh, Uber defensive forced. sets. Uber's been forced. Oh, lobby area. Uber's been forced by Fisco. Great result. They're going to find it so hard to get rid of the heavy, but they've got so many people on point. Ooh. Sticky from Cichlids comes in as well. They need more players on the point. This is going to be LMS. Wow. LMS to do it. LMS are taking it. So it's 3-2 the score with six minutes left, Darks. You couldn't have said it better. It was a case of they, they sat so far up to, uh, back up top that LMS just said, hey, we could get on the point. And they're running a heavy. They had one scout to try and... Um, and he, he wasn't even anywhere near the point because he was changing from Sniper as they pushed in. So they have one scout to get down there and block any time. And they realized, hang on a minute, we need to get on the point and block this. And that just meant they all got spammed. So there's uh, six minutes, 30 seconds left. We are on to round six. Are LMS in the ascendancy or, well, our Skidmark Central rattled at the moment. Flisco jumping around to try and deal some damage. Two players down already. Four LMS, three players down. Demo Scout Soldiers, both of them. Oh. We're left with just a scout and a medic, it looks like. Medic of White Glow is going to get out, at least for now. He is running the regular needle. Scout is chasing him. However, Greg over into lobby. He seemed, no, he didn't see which direction he went. And now Medic has tagged up with a scout. So White Glow is going to be safe. But only on 70% Uber. If um, Skidmark they Central are quick, they might be yeah. able to push immediately, but it doesn't look like they're trying that this time. Quick, let's check cheeky comms and see what they say here. I get positions. I don't. What do you want to do? Wait. <laughs> okay, so Kayla says, "What do you want to do?" And someone says, "Wait." I think they're not going in, Arcs. <laughs> right. See, yeah, this this is the thing. It's um, it's one of those situations where they can afford to stall out the game a little bit. Yeah, but correct. would would you want to? Because Ultimately, you've you've got the positional advantage. If they push out onto you and they win it, then um, they they could get back into this game. Whereas if you push against them, they've got nowhere to retreat to. So, I, I mean, I'd fancy our team to push in. But wow, one soldier's down. That's probably going to prompt uh, NMS to push in. Having a look at a back cap scout who was floating around uh, behind them. I I can't actually see which scout that is. Uh, oh, he has been spotted. Forsaken did the sensible thing and checked him out and. LMS aren't quite pushing off of that, but with time running out, they are going to have to at some point. I'm just worried that uh, Skidmark Central have made a bad call by not pushing this one. Just under five minutes left. Five minute warning has gone. We need to. They need to decide very quickly of what to do here because LMS three to the score and hold on the minute. Cyclist now coming up to that balcony area um, with the medic there as well, trying to peek. Um, counter rollers coming in. Sticky to the other side of that wall there. They probably oh, know that wall coming up with shot on daylift. So the soldier down again. Surely LMS now have to come out. Someone needs to take the hit for those stickies. Wall going for a nice shot into the medical far left hand side corner. So sticky to blown, sticky to blown. Are oh, LMS now gonna rotate out? No, they're not. So oh, oh med could, down, med down, med down. So that's a drop by Skeege. Surely LMS is gonna come out now, Ox. Scout on the back cap, however, there's one scout he's stuck oh. in. Cadis was also there. So, um, yeah, it was it was almost as soon as that Very medic nice. was down. Um, Kyla for fun just making a play there. Cadis was also there. In fact, I think most of their team had probably rotated around different entrances to get that. However, there are still four minutes left. There is plenty of time for LMS, but you've got to feel that they're going to need to take this mid. Yeah, so we're following Cichlus onto that mid fight again. Manages to get to that med pack. So could this be the mid-fight? They start the way they want it to finish on a good note. Um, the rest of his soldiers both coming up top left to meet and greet. Um, the soldier, I believe that was a warhead. Yeah, he's so weak, took so much damage. He's down. Record down as well. So soldier and scout is not working out so far. And all Skidmark have to do here is not really go too aggressive. And they're going to win this mid-fight. Spam them out. And yes, they have. So LMS falling back out. Um, yeah. Not... Five players down, White Glow, the only one left up. 
and surely uh, he does use that Uber to escape. Killer for fun and Kadesh chasing. And yeah, all I can see is his weapon and his hat because of the bug that Valve have, by the way. Please sort it out. Right, so yeah, they are going to have to get something done here. Um, sending three some minutes players left, out. Three minutes? Yeah, exactly. They they have to, first of all, get this Uber out of them. That's going to be their, their, the fundamental issue here. Uber has been popped. They're going to lose one soldier in the process. Another soldier did kind of... I, I think he might have overextended uh, Rico's coming in to block the point or at least uh, deal a bit of damage. The rest of the team are going to have to come out and support them. Problem is they're going out one at a time at the moment. Medic's dumping around. Shouldn't really be going for the Medic because his Uber's already been popped. Just get the damage dealers out of here. Demo Man of Sickness being juggled around like crazy. Cadus coming in. Um, manages to take him down and it looks like it's a three versus four. LMS uh, falling short on this one as um, Skidmark Central do manage to take that fourth. Yeah, so... They did manage to take the fourth. They probably can slow this down as much as they want now. Just following Sheepy on. Nice two shot onto Greg as he came out of the spawn. Cheeky Sheepy. Um, is he going to go for the soldier as well? Yes, he is. Taking the med packs. There's no med pack there for the soldier, but Daylift comes in to uh, yeah, help out. Anyway, uh, so two they minutes have to go left. For this. They have to come out and try and stop it at all uh, if they can. Ubi is forced uh, early, and one of the soldiers gets destroyed in the air. Um, Data Fisker still falling back with Skeej just behind him as well. They're going to fall all the way back. Yeah, Cadence is though. coming into second as well. Oh, so they're going to they're gonna, they're not going to get anywhere, unfortunately, LMS on this. They're going to take that second, but I don't think they've got enough of the damage dealers down. But they did get Skeej to use his Uber Arts. Called that four. Yeah, that's it. But again, these, these Uber trades aren't going to work out too well from the rest of the team having to come out, but they've only got three players alive. This is pretty much conceding now. One minute, 30 seconds on the board, and they're pinned back on their last. Uh, they're not going to be able to do this, but um, maybe they can keep the score respectable. They had to take risks, though, so it wouldn't surprise me if uh, Skidmark Central do take this round and bring it to 5-2 with a minute remaining. Uh, well, one scout over on the front <laughs> sheep. He does get taken down, and yeah, Skidmark Central do manage to get it 5-2, the score. One minute remaining. Um, yeah, it's, it was a good game. Yeah, let's just see if they get another round on the board, I guess, before we do the uh, man of the map, I guess. And, Forsaken uh, running sniper to mid. He wants a heli. Okay, he wants to prove to White Glow. Um, let's no, follow. Sorry, to Warhai, yeah. But he can follow snipe Forsaken. Too. He's using the AWP as well, reskin sniper rifle. Is he going to get. No, missed the first. No pressure oh! here. Oh, no that pressure. Was it. That was it. That was it. He's had his chance. That one chance is gone, mate. You've only got one chance, one shot. Do not miss your chance to oh, blow. Oh, yeah, there we go. He made up for it. He made up for it. He made up for it, finally. It's not going to be enough, though. 20 seconds left. Are they going to win this mid-fight? Yes, Maybe they are. They There's are. only one scout alive, <laughs> but uh, are they actually going to finish the cap off? I'm not it's sure. It's for fun, though. Oh, it's a wipe. A wipe for Skidmark. First game, but that is pretty much the... Um, map over so this has been Villa TV bringing you Skidmark Central versus Last Man Standing the final scoring process 5-2 in favour of Skidmark with the second map of Granary about to come up so stay tuned let's, let's take a quick break whilst we go and uh, get a drink <laughs>